cocaine and amphetamine increase the amount of dopamine that's released a thousand fold within about 10 seconds of consuming the drug. However, just thinking about food, about sex, about nicotine, if you like nicotine or cocaine or amphetamine can increase the amount of dopamine that's released to the same degree as actually consuming the drug. Now it depends in some cases, for instance, the cocaine user, the addict that wants cocaine can't just think about cocaine and increase the amount of that's released about a thousand fold. It's actually much lower, but it's just enough to put them on the motivation track for it to crave that particular thing. Now, there are reasons why you would have brain circuitry like this. I mean, brain circuitry like this didn't evolve to get you addicted. Brain circuitry like this evolved in order to motivate behaviors toward particular goals, water when you're thirsty, sex in order to reproduce. And we're gonna talk about the relationship between estrogen and testosterone in the dopamine system because those hormones actually bias dopamine to be released. These things and these brain areas and neurons were part of the evolutionary history that led to the continuation of our species. 